been a pretty down season for the uh, Coppin State men's basketball team so far this year, but tonight there is cause for at least some celebration for the Eagles. They got the first one out of the way. ABC 2 News' Sean Stepner caught up with the team today and joins us right now with more. Sean. Well, guys, it took 18 games and nearly two whole months, but the men at Coppin State are finally in the win column, and a Maryland Terrapins legend finally has his first victory leading the program. It's a great win. I, I never thought winning a basketball game I would get so emotional. It was a long time coming, a little too long for Juan Dixon. We had a huge gorilla on our backs. Um, we went out and we competed. You know, we never lost hope. Win number one for the first year head coach last Monday, a 79 to 78 double overtime victory over Florida A&M. The post-game locker room, something special. We were ecstatic, you know, got emotional, um, great energy, uh, a lot of hugs, a lot of high fives. <laughs> Post game, uh, everybody was smiling. You know, you know, first one of the year, all good vibes. You know, it was just a great feeling. Chad Andrews Fulton hit the game-winning layup with 12 seconds to go in double OT. The record says the Eagles are one in 17, but he says that doesn't tell the whole story of this team. We honestly just needed to get over that hump. You know, uh, the losing streak, and we got over that. So you know, we now now we know what it takes to win. Next up, Coppin visits North Carolina Central on Saturday. They head into the matchup and the rest of their conference schedule with a newfound confidence. We truly believe that we can have success this year. We learned how to win on the night. There's only one team that can go to the NCAA in the MEAC. Our goal is to be playing our best basketball come March. Now the game Coppin really wants to win isn't this Saturday. It's next Saturday. That's when they get their first crack at rival Morgan State. They host the Bears on January 20th.